Yo, yo, hey guys, uh, today I'm, I'm doing uh, this Honda Odyssey P3497 cylinder deactivation bank too. I know, many of y'all panic about this because you guys couldn't figure out. Well, cylinder deactivation bank too. This guy right here, the whole seat, not just not just the top one like like this sorry uh, the video i just recorded at night see most people replace the gasket and the code come back on them why they replace because oil leaked down there and kill their alternator so pretty much everyone say oh i just replaced my vt gasket and the code is come back yep this cheap gasket from ebay don't work plus get your OEM like the Honda we take assembly the whole not just this one the whole you see there's a lipstick tube come together see this thing form like this I just separate to show you so this is incorporate with the rocker arm so this thing is not just easy I just look you guys remove one two three four five six and there is one, two, three, four. You have to remove, slide it, take it back, put on. You see the shaft? You see these holes? Yeah, this is the rocker arm oil driven, so they stack off. The code, either it described like a stack off, bar post system stack off, bank two, or cylinder deactivation bank two. So, pretty much, sometimes your oil might be dirty, low that may cause in it if everything okay and thing is reputation while you fix the switching and stuff like that this guy is the problem the whole we take assembly solenoid this is a pressure switch this is a solenoid this is just bank two there is another bank one right there behind but this is a rocker arm uh, pressure switch so when whatever the pressure certain amount below the specification the activation occur all valves close nothing the car won't move so you have to remove everything be careful you're gonna mess with the the rocker arm you don't have to drop the spring and stuff like that okay good luck make sure replace the hole with the OEM I would say don't go to whatever some store or junkyard you need to get real VTEC solenoid the whole spool valve whatever so you don't have to mess with the timing just slack the rocker arms 12 millimeter then take off this thing then slowly put it back maybe this is two main job i am a goddamn ac certified guy so i don't have to i don't need anybody okay let me know put in a comment i'll guide you what you're gonna do i'll let you know what you need and what you don't okay thanks